Welcome to the US 290 virtual public meeting, which has been pre recorded for the proposed project in Washington and Waller counties. The proposed project extends along US 290 from FM 1371 to State Highway 6. This virtual public meeting will present proposed improvements to the intersection of US 290 at FM 1155 in Chapel Hill. Washington County. On July 21st, 2020, TxDOT Houston District held a virtual public meeting to present the US 290 Improvement Project from FM 1371 to State Highway 6 in Washington and Waller counties. In light of comments received regarding the intersection of US 290 at FM 1155, TxDOT Bryan District in collaboration with Houston District, has undertaken a more extensive evaluation of the intersection to explore feasible options that address traffic congestion and improve safety. Thank you for joining us. My name is Juan Quiroz and I serve as the District Planning Engineer for the Bryan District of the Texas Department of Transportation, better known as TxDOT. This virtual public meeting presented by TxDOT is provided to share information and to encourage comments from the public on this project. This virtual presentation is available online at our TxDOT website, www.txdot.gov. To reach the virtual public meeting webpage, just type US290 at FM 1155 in the keyword search box. This virtual public meeting presentation will include the following topics, public involvement purpose, project overview, intersection study need and purpose, proposed conceptual improvements, environmental process, TxDOT right-of-way process, and how to share your input. To skip ahead to a specific section, Drag the progress bar in your video player to the corresponding slide in the right column of this table. Public Involvement Purpose The Public Involvement Purpose provides public involvement opportunities for stakeholders, roadway users, and the public to engage with the project team. The first virtual public meeting for the US 290 Improvement Project was held in July of 2020. As previously mentioned, as a result of comments received regarding the intersection of US 290 at FM 1155, TxDOT has undertaken a more extensive evaluation of the intersection to explore feasible options which is the focus of this presentation as indicated by the We Are Here arrow. After continued technical evaluation and review of public input, a preferred alternative will be selected, then incorporated into the proposed US 290 Improvement Project and presented at a public hearing anticipated in late 2022. Project Overview TxDOT is developing a US 290 improvement project from FM 1371 in Washington County to State Highway 6 in Waller County, a total of approximately 12 miles. The proposed project would widen the existing four-lane divided highway to a six-lane divided highway with the grass median and required drainage infrastructure. The purpose of the proposed widening project is to improve mobility and enhance safety within the project corridor. The project is currently unfunded. As such, construction is not currently anticipated to begin before 2030 unless funding is identified. The anticipated project schedule and next steps were outlined in the previous July 2020 virtual public meeting for the US 290 Improvement Project, which can be found at our TxDOT website, www.txdot.gov, Q1 
keyword search US290 from FM1371. It is important to note that given the safety challenges associated with the FM1155 intersection, TxDOT is currently evaluating short-term solutions to improve the operation of the intersection. TxDOT has developed proposed concepts for improvements at the intersection of FM 1155 at US 290 located within the study area shown in Washington County. As previously mentioned, the outcome of the current intersection evaluation presented in this virtual public meeting will be incorporated into the proposed US 290 improvement project discussed in the previous slide. Intersection, study, need, and purpose. The proposed intersection improvements address the following needs. A high crash rate, anticipated increase in traffic demand and congestion, and need for improved access management at or near the intersection. The purpose of the proposed intersection improvements is to enhance safety, reduce congestion and improve traffic operation, and reduce access conflict points near the intersection. This slide shows the crash density along US 290 at or near the FM 1155 intersection over the five-year period from 2016 to 2020. A total of 51 crashes were observed during this time period, three of which were fatal crashes. 2017 was observed to be the year with the most crashes at or near the intersection. Proposed conceptual improvements. This shows the location of the FM 1155 at US 290 intersection in Chapel Hill. Currently, this is a signalized intersection on a four-lane divided highway. The proposed concepts developed to improve the FM 1155 intersection would encompass a defined footprint as illustrated in this slide and include the following. Concept one, median U-turn intersection. Concept two, a grade separation intersection, often referred to as an overpass. Concept three, new location south route. Each concept will be discussed in more detail on the following slides. Continued technical evaluation, environmental studies, and public input will be assessed by the project team to identify a recommended alternative for final design and construction. This slide presents concept one, the median U-turn intersection. The existing at-grade intersection would be reconfigured as shown with major features labeled in the graphic or identified in the legend. This type of intersection improves safety by removing left turns in and out at the intersection, reducing the number of conflict points. A raised median would be constructed to prevent these left turn movements. East and westbound US 290 drivers would still be able to access FM 1155 and Main Street. Vehicles that wish to turn left onto FM 1155 or Main Street would proceed past the intersection and make a U-turn at the location offset from the intersection and proceed to FM 1155 or Main Street and make a safe right turn. Side street vehicles on FM 1155 and Main Street that wish to turn left onto US 290 would instead turn right onto US 290 and make a U-turn at a location offset from the intersection. Additional pavement, often referred to as a loon, would be constructed as shown in yellow 
to accommodate the U-turning vehicle movements. Pedestrian accommodations would also be provided at the intersection. These include a shared use path for pedestrian and bicyclists along the south side of US 290 and a sidewalk along the north side of US 290, as well as crosswalks to allow safe crossing of US 290. As currently proposed, this concept would require only minimal additional right-of-way and does not require property displacements. Additional right-of-way will likely be required on FM 1155 near the intersection to accommodate future traffic demand. This slide presents concept two, the grade separation intersection or overpass. The proposed intersection would be reconfigured as shown with major features labeled in the graphic or identified in the legend. This type of overpass improves safety by bridging US 290 main lanes over the FM 1155 intersection shown here in red. Exit ramps with frontage roads shown in green would be constructed to access FM 1155 and Main Street using at-grade signalized intersections. Frontage road approaches would provide the needed through and turn lanes to optimize intersection operation, and U-turn lanes in the underpass area would be constructed so U-turning traffic can bypass the intersection. U-turn locations offset east and west of the intersection would also be provided to accommodate local traffic circulation originating from properties located along the northwest and southeast frontage roads. Pedestrian accommodations would also be provided at the intersection. These include a shared use path for pedestrian and bicyclists along the south side of US 290 and a sidewalk along the north side of US 290 as well as raised medians with sidewalks and crosswalks in the underpass area to allow pedestrians and bicyclists to cross under US 290 safely. This proposed concept would require additional right-of-way and property displacements. Opportunities for refinement of right-of-way impacts will be investigated as the design layout is further evaluated. This slide illustrates concept three, the new location south route. The proposed alignment for this concept would provide a relief route around Chapel Hill that extends approximately 3.1 miles from about one half mile west of FM 2447 to about 1.3 miles east of FM 1155. The new location south route would construct a six-lane divided highway that would bridge over Chadwick Hogan Road, Nicholson Lake Road, and FM 1371, allowing local circulation of traffic to continue as it does today. Tie-in overpass intersections with entrance and exit ramps would be constructed at the west and east ends of the new location route. Finally, the existing US 290 route between the new location route limits would be converted to business US 290. This proposed concept would require approximately 116 acres of additional right-of-way and six property displacements. It is important to note that other new location routes were evaluated to the north. However, environmental, community, and cultural constraints precluded their feasibility. A scoring matrix was developed to compare the concepts being evaluated. The criteria focused on safety improvement, mobility, local connectivity, community and economic impacts, right-of-way impacts, environmental impacts, focusing on impacts to natural resources, environmental impacts, focusing on impacts to historical and archaeological elements, as well as property displacements. 
It is important to note that the criteria was established to meet project goals and to provide a relative evaluation of the concepts. Environmental process. Prior to December 16, 2014, the Federal Highway Administration, or FHWA, reviewed and approved documents prepared under their National Environmental Policy Act, known as NEPA. However, on December 16, 2014, the Texas Department of Transportation assumed responsibility from FHWA to review and approve certain assigned NEPA environmental documents. This Memorandum of Understanding was renewed on December 9, 2019. The review and approval process applies to this project. This intersection evaluation includes environmental constraints mapping to allow for identification and avoidance of sensitive resources, including air quality, archeological resources, biological resources, community and socioeconomic, historic resources, hazardous materials, right-of-way and displacements, traffic noise, vegetation and wildlife, water resources, wetlands and waters of the U.S., and Section 4F resources. A detailed environmental study will be conducted for the proposed project. TxDOT right-of-way process. The project would, subject to final design considerations, require additional right-of-way and potentially require displacements. This slide illustrates TxDOT's right-of-way process. We are currently in the early stages of project development and as such have not started the right-of-way process. However, information is available on the TxDOT website outlining property owner's rights the right-of-way process, and the help provided by the department in relocating tenants and property owners. These can be found on the project webpage or additionally at the web address noted on the slide. If you have any questions during the right-of-way process, please contact the Bryan District right-of-way specialist, Melissa Sevilla at 979-778 9607. Share your input. TxDOT is interested in hearing any feedback you might have on the information presented about this study. We understand this virtual public meeting format is a bit different, so let's take a few moments and explain the comment process, which is the most important part of this video. There are several methods available for you to share your input. All comments must be received or postmarked on or before December 22, 2021 to be included in the public meeting summary. You may email Mark Pogue, the Intersection Study Project Manager at mark.poage at text.gov. You may submit written comments to text. Bryan District Office, Attention Mark Pogue, 2591 North Earl Rudder Freeway, Bryan, Texas 77803. Please note that a comment form can be downloaded at the virtual public meeting webpage at www.text.gov. Just type US290 at FM 1155 in the keyword search box. The public may call project staff at 979-778-2165 during regular office hours or email project staff at any time in the project development process. Thank you for participating in the virtual public meeting.